Do you ever lie in bed? So glad that you are Arch Linux user, but you know there's something missing from your life. Maybe you believe that you want to use Arch Linux with a real init system, and you really don't like using system D for whatever that reason may be. Well, do I have something special for you. Artix Linux is a rolling release distribution based on Arch Linux, and as they say, it uses real init systems, right? Because PID1 must be simple, secure, and stable. Now, jokes aside, this isn't a video into why system D rules or why system D sucks, right? Because at the end of the day, system D exists in Linux distributions and it is what it is. But for those of you that really, really hate system D, love Arch, there is an alternative for you. Unfortunately, normal Arch uh, is so entwined with System D, there's no way uh, you can use it without a System D. But the good news is the folks at Artix Linux have gone ahead and done that for you. The nice thing is even uh, if you need additional software, you can even use the AUR from Arch, but bear in mind, not all software might work, especially if it's dependent on System D services. So, uh, looking at their website, as you can see, pretty similar to Arch's website. Uh, not really too much to show you here, except what I do want to show you with the ISO releases. Uh, if you have a specific favorite init system that you really love, uh, maybe you're an OpenRC fan, a Runit fan, an A6, or a Dinit fan, well, guess what? All of those ISOs are available, so you can choose which image you want, which GUI, as well as which system you have chosen. So I've gone ahead and pre-downloaded an image here of Artix uh, with one of the uh, init systems. I think I chose Runit because I'm most familiar with Runit. So let's take a look at it. Okay, so here we have the ISO and I'm gonna start it up from CDB and let it load. I opted to get the Mate version. Uh, no specific reason, just uh, uh, felt like using the Mate edition. Sometimes nice to try different uh, GUIs at times. So I've got to admit, the one thing about Arctic though, uh, the live media loads incredibly quickly. Uh, probably as a result of using a different init system. And here we are, we have got straight to the normal uh, desktop environment. And let's give this an install. And Artix Linux, I have to admit, I really appreciate the fact that they tend to use the Calamari's installer uh, these days instead of uh, the normal way of installing Arch. I know installing Arch is a rite of passage for many people, but uh, really in the time that we are in, it is, it is starting to make sense to uh, make you something like Calamari's. Just putting in my details and install. Okay, yeah, so as per usual, gonna let it uh, run its installation and we'll be back for the next step. Okay, let's fix this thing's resolution, system, preferences, look and feel, no. Hardware displays. So let's just change our resolution, 920, 1080. And here we go. So as you can see here, we have Artix Linux out of the box, which is of course is system D3. So uh, what's the first thing you need to do with this thing? Well, since it is based on Arch, it uses good old Pac-Man package manager. So to update it, let's just sudo pacman dash S Y U enter. And what this is going to do is synchronize with its different uh, repos. You'll see here there's a bunch of installed software where they've recently changed repos to world. So at this point, it's just asking if we want to uh, replace those with packages from those repos. So I'm just going to say yes and let it download that in background. 
but in theory that shouldn't break anything. So taking a look around, base install, uh, nice clean implementation of Mate, desktop, and really not much software is installed here. I mean, under accessories, you basically just got, got really an archive manager, screenshot tool, and a text editor of Leafpad. Um, web browser is browser, which is uh, based on a GNOME, which I think is an interesting addition uh, of the web browser. Um, Hex chat, uh, no office package managers. Uh, Pulse users Pulse Media, no VLC or anything. So really, as it is, it's pretty bare bones. As it is, uh, a little bit hefty out of the box using two point five gigs of uh, memory. Well, the likes is also including running the update manager at the moment as well. Uh, also, slightly high CPU usage when it comes to installed uh, software, which makes sense because it's really not too much installed when you first open up the browser here it opens up a bunch of web errors which makes sense although i think i'm not too sure if you've already got Arctic installed i don't know why you're going to go to the uh, distro watch page or to the wikipedia page because hopefully if you've installed this thing you have an idea of what you've installed and it looks like for repos they're using their own hosted Get tier instance, which is quite interesting. Okay. Um, very important couple of things to note from or from the website that I've picked up. Uh, if you want to go and change in its systems, it's considered an advanced uh, function. So they recommend to just reinstall it with it in a system that you want, uh, which is some really good uh, advice. You can cause a lot of issues if you make that mistake. Uh, okay, this is still taking a little bit of time to get all those packages out. Okay, taking a look at the desktop backgrounds. I don't always look at these backgrounds, but every now and then. And basically some of the default Mate backgrounds. So you can say this distro is really, as traditional arch, really lightweight and really not much else is added to it. To be honest, I have previously once or twice uh, tried it before on different hardware, and I have found it to be substantially quite a bit faster. So yeah, folks, um, leave your comments below. Let us know what you think. As always, bye for now. Mm -hmm.